Another interesting study here was presented by Dr. Rizvi, and it was one of the early steps in trying to do immunotherapy combination studies in lung cancer. We have seen this, and we already have quite a lot of knowledge on immunotherapy combination studies in melanoma, but melanoma is clearly different from lung cancer. What we have seen in very initial experience in lung cancer that if you give full dose of anti-PD-1 or PDL1 blockade combined with full dose CTLA-4 blockade, the toxicity is unacceptably high. That was the case with full dose nivolumab and ipilimumab, for instance. And so what has been presented here today is the combination of durvalumab, that is an anti-PDL1 antibody, with trimolumumab, an anti-CTLA-4 antibody. And so what we learned from that presentation is that there is an add-on when you combine both in toxicity and in activity. And of course for future development it will be quite important to see how the balance is between increase in toxicity and increase uh, of efficacy. Because the increase in toxicity in my view is not minor. In the combination uh, patients that received the lower dose of tremolimumab together with duvalumab, about 30% of the patients experienced a grade 3-4 toxicity, which is not a low number, and about 15% of the patients had to stop the therapy because of toxicity, which is again not a no, no number, and it's clearly higher than what we experience with single agent immunotherapy with duvalumab for instance, where the grade 3-4 toxicity is around 10%, Patients need to stop about 5%. Here it's 30% and 15%. So clearly more toxicity. In activity, it's early, it's small groups, but the emerging data seem to suggest that mostly in patients that do not have PDL1 expression and who are inherently the poorer responders to anti PD1 -PD or PDL1 therapy, that they may have most of the benefit when you add a second immunotherapy such as trimolimumab. So this would mean if you are clearly PDL1 positive, you could do with single agent anti PD1, anti PDL1. If you are PDL1 negative, you should use the combination therapy. But it's really premature to say it. This is just emerging out of the data. What the, the essence of that study was defining the best dose to do larger studies, and that was successful. We know the dose now, and now this combination therapy is going into comparative trials, comparative with chemotherapy, com co comparison with uh, single agent immunotherapy, and th these trials are just starting now, so it will take a little time before we have the answer to that question.